and Jermaine Pataki Terrio, Director of Gallery 78 in Fredericton. And we have a beautiful exhibition on currently. It's called Reflections of Sophie by Stephen Scott. And we're very pleased to have Stephen here today to answer a few questions. Stephen, you're well known for your paintings of converging landscapes. Oh, we have loved and admired your figure to work here at Gallery 78 for over 30 years. Looking at these paintings, you're clearly a gifted figurative artist. Figurative paintings are very popular again in the national contemporary art scene. What was the impetus for you to first paint this subject matter and to continue to paint it when, when the rest of the country had veered away? Um, I, um, well, I've been with this daughter for a long time. And, uh, but to go back to the, to the beginning, I think I I have to admit that when I looked at painting and was inspired by some of the heroes that brought me to consider taking up art as a career, there was never any differentiation between figurative art, still life, or any other genre in figurative work. They all seemed to be within the same sphere of reference. So it was always, for me, a personal exploration of my experiences in my life. And, well, my heroes, Forrestal, Wyeth, uh, you know, any of the <coughs> realist painters, Never were limited by one particular idiom, so that was my 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 origin. I think. Anyway, and also living in New Brunswick, uh, the, the landscape had a great uh, impact because of you know my family history and, and all of that. But in keeping with the question, figurative work. Well, I I guess I've always I still feel like I'm not really quite in in the group now. I mean, figurative work went after I finished Mount Alice and was not uh, considered to be a serious subject matter. It was mostly, we were still in the throes of, post, of modernism, postmodernism, uh, formal art, formal issues would seem to dominate the art world anywhere in the, in the you know, academia and in Canada. And not so much here. <clears throat> Figurative work always had a mainstay here with people like Colville and Pratt and those heroes. But, um, so I was out of the picture then, as you're right. Uh, but now I feel like I've, I've sort of, I'm sort of on the, on the outskirts of it now too, because the type of work I do is, is more expressive. Uh, it's less, it's, it's figurative work, it's realism, but it's not really very realistic. There's an expressiveness to it, which I bring from just the way I handle paint and, and the way I think. And I find today that the, the major influences in figurative art are just definitely dominantly uh, neoclassical now, and I don't paint that way. Now, you paint what you see, there's no question. And your model in this particular exhibition is, uh, as it happens, to try out your wife. She was your mom many years ago, was she not, Sophie? I met, I met Sophie, yes. Uh, we've known each other since about 2002. And, um, <clears throat> She led her own life for a number of years, and I led mine. And uh, but eventually we came to, uh, to become closer and closer over time, and we married uh, in 2010. Um, after a year of uh, being closer, closer. <laughs> um, so she's been a main subject of mine for a long time. Um, uh, but in the last period of time, this show is a reflection of. She's the, she's the only subject, uh, and uh, I just I just find that, uh, you know, she's a, a source of inspiration to me, and she encapsulates a very a whole variety of different kinds of personas and spiritual characters and, figure, and figures um, that I notice from time to time. Yes. Do you decide on the composition quite... Um seriously before you you started like the one that's beside um you the one of sophie on the swing right. um it, there's a lot of tension in that painting yeah. um it's sort of interesting how that came about is that was that on purpose is that what you're looking for or that just did it just come out well most of the time i find ideas just come yes they they they're not premeditated they it's just a moment of recognition. Uh, there's, there's very little planning. I mean, I'm, in that way, I find that my work is, is a lot different from realists like Colville's, because Colville, I, 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 I don't know, but the source of the inspiration, maybe for him it's the same. Maybe it's just a flash of recognition of an idea and then working it out. 
In his case, he achieves a more emotional balance in his work through formal means. He constructs his work. In my situation, I, I grasp it as quickly as I can through sketches and you know like an observation. <clears throat> and but um, the origins are generally not very premeditated; they just happen. Um, the one at the swing, though, is 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 probably a case in point. Maybe I just had an imagining of her, or she was swinging on a you know at, at the park, and you know it just. But you know, encapsulating the uh, her personality in that—I mean, that's not her, but that—that's a kind of a, a, you know an archetype for her. The one behind me, I think, would be probably the most constructive of, of the whole series. Uh, it's a retake of a painting that I did for the show of St. John called Northern Gothic, and you know, the male figure, the female figure, this this kind of uh, steady gaze at the viewer, the supplication, or uh, in this case, the donation, the gift, the offering. Um, the last one I did was, um, and I didn't really even notice it until after it was finished. People said, well, that's just like Grant Wood's American Gothic, right? And I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'd never, I'd never realized that. That's how introverted I am in terms of my ideas. I very seldom look at it. I try to not see as much as I possibly can. Um, in this case, I, I, so, uh, that, that work wasn't available and I wanted to do another version and especially having gone through the last winter, I thought I would do a winter version so I changed my palette. So in this particular case, it, it was a, already a preconceived notion um, and I decided that I wanted to do a more exploration in terms of the color palette that I was using for it. So I, I changed my color palette in this painting too, so it was a bit of an exploration in that regard. Yeah, I love that. We've had a lot of comments on that. I'm very, I'm, yeah. I, if I'm going to tell you, maybe more, it's pretty hard. Because <laughs> I'm usually pretty hard on my work, right? Yeah. People always say, you know, look, gosh, you're hard. You're, you're such a perfectionist. And I usually my reply is, well, I, I have to be. It's nobody else's, you know. So. Thank you, Stephen. That was awesome.